the fourth example, we're going to find the circumference of each circle. Now, in this one, we have a square, we have an inscribed circle. And inscribed again means when you have something, a shape inside, another shape, okay, and all the endpoints are touching. So here, this is all touching here. Okay, there's a circle P, okay, the side of the square is 10, and I have to find a circumference. Now I know circumference. I either need radius or the diameter, right? So let's say diameter. Now if I draw the diameter like this, I know that this diameter is going to be the same measure as this side, right? Because if this is the end point from here to here, that's the same thing as this end point from here to here. And this is 10, so then this diameter would also be 10. So the circumference is going to be 10 times 3.14, which means it's going to be 31.4. And then the next one, so we have an inscribed triangle. Endpoints are all on the triangle, I mean on the circle. This is an isosceles triangle, this is 4, then this also has to be 4. So, again, to find the circumference, I need the diameter, or I need the radius. Diameter is also hypotenuse, so I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to look for this measure right there. So, 4, let's say c squared equals 4 squared plus 4 squared. c squared equals 16 plus 16. 32, square root of 32, equals 5.66. And instead of labeling that C, I should label that as D, because um, it's the hypotenuse, but it's also the diameter diameter is that, and then so the circumference is going to be, again, pi times d, so that would be 5.66 times pi, or 3.14, and your circumference is 17.77. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.